Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped in for a little while. <laughs> Hope you got something to sip on or to snack on. I wanted to do a video I've seen going around for quite a while, like a brand list or a no brand get ready with me where basically I tell you about how I'm applying something instead of what products I'm applying. I saw a fun spin on this by Arnell Lane here on YouTube, who I adore, I have loved for years. You'll hear more about her in a future video too. She did a video where it was basically the same thing, but she had her followers guess what product she was using. And I thought that was so fun. So I picked a full face of products that I have talked about for quite a while, I've been loving, I've been using a lot, especially recently. So I think there are 12 products. I challenge you to guess which ones you think I'm using down below. And she did a giveaway in hers. I'm gonna do a giveaway in mine as well. You don't have to get these all right to win. I'm gonna have a separate giveaway link down below for anyone who subscribes to my channel to enter and you'll win a couple of my favorite products that I'm gonna be using today. Okay, future Jesse popping in from the end of the video to now to say, if you're gonna just kind of play the fun game and try to guess, I'm going to actually have the products listed in the info box because I was thinking about it and as I was going through some of these, like if you stumbled on my video and you don't know my videos that well, you might genuinely be curious about what some of these are. I I know that like defeats the purpose, but at the same time I thought about it and I'm like, and especially with certain shades and stuff, I will have it listed if you want to guess yourself, don't cheat, try to guess, and then I'll have it up there for your actual reference. Okay, back to the video. So the first thing, oh, I almost showed you. I'm so, oh, I almost showed you again. I'm so used to talking about freaking products, man. Oh, something's gonna give it away. So this product I'm using is a drugstore product and it was a more recent discovery of mine, but I use it very, very often. I've really grown into enjoying applying base products like this with my fingers first and then a sponge. I have not used a brush for foundation in probably over a year and I don't really know why. I feel like over the years I found brushes that work for me for foundation, but I just feel like a lot of the times with the products I'm using, I end up not loving the way it looks with a brush. I don't know. And so a lot of people I know have gotten into applying it to their face the way I just did, like with their fingers, will like blend the foundation in initially with the brush, but then go in with a wet sponge to kind of finish it up. And that's my thing. I felt like with the brush, it was never done. So then I'm like, well, why go in with a brush at all? Like, <laughs> I know though that like, obviously sponges shear things out. I don't mind it, but if you're really trying to cover cover stuff, then a brush probably is gonna be your best friend because it's not gonna shear it out quite as much. So I'm gonna have to cover like the handle here. Concealer time. I feel insane applying it like this. This product is actually nearly gone, but I love it. It is a higher end product, if you will. And this I actually am gonna blend in with a brush and then maybe finish it with the sponge. But yeah, this one is slightly newer to me like this year but I have not been able to put it down. And I feel like with concealer, the way I typically apply it, you know, I love this brush, although Sephora, you guys, Sephora has like discontinued. I knew it was kind of in the works, but I didn't know for sure, you know what I mean? But it's the Sephora Pro line of brushes. This is the number 56 I love for concealer. They've like discontinued all these. That's why they were all on sale recently. I didn't know for sure, and now I do, because they've like launched a whole new line. I'm like, I hope they're freaking good. But it's gonna get a little bit tricky. This next product, this is like a dead giveaway. Okay, well, you can't see everything. <laughs> Luckily, the uh, label is worn off. I have to hold it differently just to... If y'all don't guess this one right off the bat, before I even showed it on the screen at all, you, you, you probably know what this is. This is a more affordable brush. I, like I've mentioned recently, I've actually been getting into pomades again because I just feel like I can get a little bit, it's pretty quick for me, and I just feel like I can get a little bit of lighter looks with it, but still filling in where I need. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear the birdies chirping outside, but I'm so thankful it's spring, even though it's been, you know, kind of rainy. Today, I think the sun is supposed to come out. And I, my mood, and I know I'm not alone, I know a lot of you guys are too, my mood is completely affected by the weather. Um, like. I don't know, like sunny days, it is so hard for me to be in like a crummy, funky mood when it's sunny out. All right, that's gonna have to do. So I'm going to powder my face. Now this is a powder that is higher end and it is a powder foundation I've loved that is not totally mattifying. It has a little bit more of a glowy finish, if you will. 
and I have loved this for truly years. Oh my gosh, I love it. Cause it just like, even if you're wearing a tinted moisturizer, I love powder foundations because they can mattify your skin if you just wanna put a little bit in the oily areas, or you can go all over your face and if you're wearing a light coverage and you need just a little bit more evening out, it will provide that coverage for you in like literally four seconds. It's incredible. And I always talk about how another way I love to apply powder foundation is with a moist sponge, especially to my nose where it tends to get a little bit redder. And I'm actually gonna throw a little bit of this, even though I don't normally with this on my under eye because I definitely need to set it with something. This is not quite as blurring for the under eye as a certain other product I love. Let's do eyes next. So this product I'm using is a discovery I made this year. I've already hit pan on one of the shades and that is definitely the shade I'm gonna be using today because I love it. It's like my go-to for like a quick daytime, I'm not going anywhere <laughs> look. And I just love to put like, this is just a kind of light shimmery shade. I have so fallen in love with just putting a shade like that all over, like not just the lid, but the shimmer into the crease up to the brow bone just everywhere. And then if I wanna put a little bit of depth into the crease, I might add that in and I will do that today. But I just find it so becoming. I know like with these lights, it's so hard to see because it really is such a sheer, beautiful color. But, and then I'm grabbing kind of a more mid-tone, more matte color just to throw into the crease lightly. This is kind of a pinky palette. It's definitely more expensive, but I have used, I will have used this and made it worth its weight that I paid, you know? And then I'm gonna tap a little bit of the glitter on top. I might have made this video too easy for some of you guys. <laughs> it, w it was so easy though, going through my collection to pick these things out. I was laughing because I'm like, this is, I, I just, these are my absolute favorites. Tried and true, like, didn't have to think twice about any of them. So this next product is a drugstore one. I have also loved for years and uh, it is a cream or gel liner. And I just love it for getting a nice thick black line on top. I just, thick black lines of liner on the top lash I think can be so pretty and I, I just tend to go for it for years and years. I've always loved this look and I don't know what it is. It's kind of, if you think about it, like retro, like kind of 60s, but I just, I've always loved it, you know what I mean? But it is one of those things that like, I feel like I can go really overboard on one and I'm like, crap, and then I have to even it out. And then suddenly they're way like thicker and they're like half the length of my lid. <laughs> I still need to clean my brushes. I've been talking a big game about it. Like, oh, I've got maybe more time now. I should clean my brushes. It still hasn't happened. I know, I'm terrible. I used to be so good about like, even using like a brush cleaning spray to like spritz them throughout, you know, after I use ones, especially ones with like cream and liquid. Nope, I am terrible at it now. I've developed such bad <laughs> habits. So then I'm gonna use, okay, this one is gonna be obvious, but I don't know how to get around it. It is a liquid liner, drugstore, been my favorite for a long time. You're gonna see the packaging, you're gonna know, but we're gonna do it anyway, cause I, I would like a liquid liner. So here we go. Oh no, I've gone way too thick. Well, this is what we're doing now. This is what I mean, way too thick. I have loved liquid liner for probably like four or five years now. It used to be that most liquid liners at the store were like that, um, do you remember, was it NYC that had that one that was so wet, like the liquid liner was so wet and it was a brush tip and it was really long and you ended up like it would run and it would get everywhere. But that was like the only one at the drugstore people talked about because it was like one of the few that existed and that weren't, you know, crazy expensive. And I remember trying that over and over again. And I was like, I am just not good at it. And then when these kinds of, well, again, you're already seeing it, but when these kinds of like liquid liners came on the market, or at least came into my life, I should say, I was like, oh, like I can do this. It takes a little practice, but not nearly as much as those other ones. So I love felt tip liners. This line is getting thicker by the fricking minute. I better cap this bad boy. <laughs> So we're gonna use a mascara. I'm gonna do my best to cover it. Now this is a newer one. I wouldn't say this is my holy grail mascara, but it's one that I have opened and I only am trying to have like two open at a time. And so I wasn't gonna like open a fresh Lash Paradise. You, I can tell you right now, it's not Lash Paradise. I wasn't gonna open a fresh one of those when I already had these open just for this. So um, I'll do my best, but it's a newer drugstore launch. I have to hold this so weird. Uh, it's got a more silicone brush. 
and I like it. Like I said, I would buy it again. I don't think like when I finish this up, I'm gonna like need to go run out and buy this one because I do have ones, other ones I also love that are also in the same price point. But it is nice. It separates your lashes well. Does a good job on the lower lash line not being too much if you don't want too much, you know? And it still adds volume and blackens. I feel like the reviews on this mascara are kind of mixed. Like people like it or they absolutely don't, you know? And I have to admit, I love the name of it when you, if you figure out what it is. The name of this I think is just so cute. And like to me, it's desirable. I'm like, that was smart marketing on their part. By the way, I've been using the Grande Brow Serum. I can link below on my brows and that's why they've actually darkened, like they've actually grown in fuller. And I didn't even know that was possible. But I was also using the Grande Eye Serum. I think I was noticing a difference in my lashes, but my eyes started getting irritated and I'm pretty sure that's what it was because I stopped using it like a week ago and the irritation went away. So I don't know. It makes me sad. I've heard a couple other people talk about that. I don't know if they changed something because I feel like it didn't used to be that way. But the brow serum, man, I am love of -a, -a, a ing Hi, Pinocchio. You can go lay in your bed. He's been going on more walks lately because we can. <laughs> he is loving it. All right, so moving on to the next product, which is a bronzer. This is a higher end brand, one of my favorites. It's Beloved on YouTube. I'm gonna have to put it on because you will definitely see it and then I'll pop back. All right, so it is on. It's clearly a cream and I just love it. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I just absolutely adore this product. I feel like every time I use it, it always looks perfect. It blends perfectly. And this, I really think that this was the cream bronzer that made me like cream bronzers because I was like, oh, I actually can blend that in and it won't look weird. And I, you know what I mean? Like, and it will actually stay pretty well throughout the day. And again, of course, the brush I'm using is one of the Sephora discontinued ones. A lot of people said you can still find it at TJ Maxx, but of course, we can't all go to TJ Maxx right now. And I'm pretty sure they're closed. <laughs> I hope they are. So, mm, love this. And it again, for the price you pay for it, you end up getting a ton of use out of it, you know? Next one is a drugstore favorite I have loved for years. I actually just repurchased, but I'm using the very last little bit of this older one I have, if there's anything left in it. Figured this would be pretty poetic to use this as my last hurrah. <laughs> but it is a liquid cream type blush. And it's a color that really is too light, I think, for many, many skin tones. But for me, it's nice. But this brand has many other colors to choose from that are much more. But this is just my absolute favorite. I mean, the fact that I finished the entire thing is unheard of for me. Like a liquid blush. And it literally blends in so flawlessly with your hands. Whew, I haven't used this in a hot minute. And I was just reminded of how freaking good it is. But liquid blushes, just thinking about the application, I... Fingers work for some of them like that, that are a little more sheer. But if you have one that's a little more pigmented, I always put it on my hand and then I will sometimes use a stipple brush. Elf makes a really good one. That's the Morphe 404 I've just had for years. And then also just a sponge. You can always tap it on with a sponge or you could tap it on with your finger and then blend it with the sponge, which I, that I probably tend to do more than anything, honestly, because it just ends up making it blend a little more seamlessly with everything else on your face. So last up will be a highlight, and it is a powder highlight, higher end. I bought, I think this year, and fell in love with. It's a brand that's been around for a long time. And it's one that if you are ever seeing like what I'm wearing in my description box, more often than not, it's this. It's a powder highlight, man, oh man. I cannot get over how much I love this. And it, again, like powder highlights, I hadn't really fallen in love with many recently, but this one, I can't stop, like if I'm grabbing a powder highlight, this is the one I'm using, always. For lips, we're gonna use a lip product I've loved for a couple years now. It is a technically like a more expensive brand and it's not the shade you will, if you guess the product, it might not be the shade you think because I think I've fallen in love with this shade more. I just love this, it's very pillowy soft. Mm. Smells incredible, oh my gosh, this is, it's my favorite gloss formula. So this was so much fun for me. This is like truly what I pretty much do every day. Like I love doing all the steps I shared. I didn't show a primer because I don't always wear primer. I didn't show an eye primer because I don't typically wear eye primer. Um, but yeah, everything else, I mean, these are pretty much the steps I take every day. It doesn't take me a super long time. 
I think mostly because I'm not doing a lot as much as I was with my brows and because my eye looks, I'm usually just doing kind of a washes of color. So it makes, it just kind of, it makes that go so much quicker. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing it. I hope that you'll subscribe if you want to be able to find my videos a little bit more easier. It helps me a lot here on YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, I hope you'll come say hi to me on social media. It is at it's Jessica Braun everywhere. I post a lot on Instagram. And frankly, I've been posting a little bit more on Twitter as well lately, but I'm definitely the most active on Instagram. So other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.